みなさんこんにちは、ひきさんです。今回は、ヴォンディの恋風に乗せてリアクションをします。恋風、ラブ、シック、ラブシックかな ?OK。悲しい曲かな ?Let's see. もしもし。悪いよな、お前も。だなクズを愛したお前も悪いんだよそれはひどいねあれいさんすごくハッピー I like the bells they're still keeping it We really like the sudden pauses from the guitars. Bum, 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 bum. And the nice melodies. Oh, little goosebumps there. Oh, is that a harmonic? I really like that. That like sudden part where he just talks. It's pretty open base. That's such a good pre chorus. But not you. There we go, did it again. でしょな,なんで逃げたあ
that much as your book or not. Anyways, the song. Really like the song. I, I I'm gonna say I think this song has one of my favorite pre-choruses I've heard in I guess Japanese music in, in a way. Because I don't know what I would label Vondi as. Like I guess just J-pop maybe. But they don't sound J-pop though. They sound like alternative rock in this one. I don't really know what I would categorize it, but. I really love this pre-chorus. That pre-chorus was so catchy. I mean, the chorus was catchy, but this is one of those cases where I feel the pre-chorus was a lot more catchy than the chorus. I really like how we ended that pre-chorus, where he goes into like a low and then a high range, and then he just goes into like a sudden speaking phrase towards the end. I mentioned it during the reaction, so you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But I really like that. It just little different things and it was just really catchy to me so I really enjoyed that part but overall like the song I just really enjoyed the overall kind of like atmosphere I guess because I really wasn't expecting this kind of atmosphere for the song I was expecting like, maybe a sad song or something but the song was very upbeat very fun and I just really like the overall use of all the instruments like the, they were using the, the shakers as well, the bells, and I like how they were using the bells all throughout the song as well. Like they had them in the intro to kind of introduce the song, but then they still kept the bells all over uh, the track as well. But the one thing I really want to mention is with the guitar too. You know, the guitars didn't do anything special, but I really like that kind of like pause pattern that they were doing. I think he was doing just like kind of like an upscale strum, and what that means is just he was just. Instead of strumming like you know up and down with the guitar, he was just going up and up and up. I think that's what he was doing. The overall like rhythm with the drums as well. Nice job, nothing too special with that, but I really enjoyed the rhythms. But like the one thing I really want to mention is the vocals. Like I said already with the pre-chorus, one of my favorite big choruses so far. I just really enjoyed the overall just like I guess techniques and the ranges he used. I don't I haven't done many Bondi reactions on the channel, but you know, with this one, I can really see his like vocal technique, the way he sings in those high ranges and just very, just I guess want to say very clean and clearly, and how catchy he makes them. There's a lot of artists that I listen to that have a nice clean chorus, but not all of them give me that very like goosebump kind of feeling. But like he did that and it was just a very nice melody. I just really enjoyed his high ranges in, in this track. But just really enjoyed the overall flow of the song and really enjoyed the vocals. I think that's my favorite part of the song with the vocals. He really knocked it out of the park with that with this one when it comes to the vocals.